So finally, we're in part two of making this lantern in Blender. So now we're gonna be adding this really cool textures here, making it look all grungy. If you haven't already seen part one, where we did the modeling, go ahead and check that out. And as always, I'll be uploading the final blend file to my Patreon. So all of that is in the description. So let's go ahead and add our textures and lights and make it look awesome. So now we're gonna be doing our uh, scene setup here and lighting and stuff, materials for our lantern. So um, you're gonna to wanna to go to the internet and there's a site called Polyhaven. And once you're on the site, you can go to the HDRIs and you can search, um, I typed in night. And I just got like a nighttime HGRI. You guys can pick whichever one you want. Um, but this is the one I found, that's what I'm gonna be going with. So I just downloaded the EXR file at 2K. And then I just went to the internet and I just typed in seamless grunge. And I just found one that was square and seamless. And I just downloaded it to my downloads folder. You guys can pick whichever uh, one you want. Just a grunge looking texture. It doesn't have to be the same one I have. So once you have those two things in your downloads folder, so I have the EXR file, the HRI, and this texture here, you can go ahead in Blender with our scene. We can go to our render engine, change it to cycles. I always recommend you use a GPU if you have one. Um, if you don't, don't worry about it. And with our max samples, we're gonna set it to 50. So now let's go Shift A, let's add in a plane, S to scale it up. And uh, let's go into our front view, shift A, let's add in a camera and let's go to our right view, just move it back. And then let's go to our camera settings and give it a focal length of 95. And you can position your camera however you want, but I like to have it kind of a little bit lower, kind of looking a little bit up like this. And um, I like to have it kind of off to the side a little bit like this, but you guys can really find whatever, um, pose you like. So don't worry too much about following me exactly with this. But now we have a camera, we're in cycles, and let's just go Control B and drag over our camera to limit the rendering to the camera. Then let's go to our world, click here on the little yellow tab next to the color and get a environment texture. Let's click open and for me that's gonna be in my downloads. And it's gonna be that EXR I downloaded, I'm gonna go open image. Now if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see this is what we have. So we can go to our shading if we want. Let's go into our world. And then you're just gonna grab your image texture and um, you're gonna go Shift A search and get a texture and then type in coordinate. And let's just plug the generated into the vector here and then go Shift A search and type in map. And just get a mapping and put it over here on this cable and then in your camera view, you can go into render it and now you can just mess around with the Z rotation like so, until you get something that you like. Um, I'm gonna go something something like that. And um, let's go Shift A, add in an area light, go G, Z, move it up. And let's just give it a strength of about 150. Let's increase the size. And I'm just gonna go Shift D to duplicate this, rotate it in. And the one coming here from the side, I'm just gonna make that a bit of an orange looking light. I think that's looking quite nice, the lighting here. So very simple setup. Now let's grab um, any part of the body of our lantern. Let's go to our object here under the shader type. Let's go new and call it copper. Then we're gonna go shift a search and let's get a geometry node. Let's take the pointiness and plug it into the base color. Let's go shift a search and let's type in color and get a color ramp, put it on the cable. And let's drag these two values together until we can kind of start to see that pointiness value uh, at work here. Um, so I don't know if you guys can pick up on that, but where there is pointiness, it's got two different values. So the white is where we got more of a fold and in the flatter areas, we have the darker value here. So something like that. And let's grab these side bits and let's come to the drop down, give them that same copper material. And the same with the knob and all these other things here, all the other little bits. We just wanna hold and shift, select them. And then holding and shift, just select the body, control L and just link those materials. So you want everything to have that for now. And now that we have that, let's come over here Shift A search and let's get a mix and get a mix color, place it over here. And let's increase this all the way to a metallic value and bring down the roughness a bit. 
And now you're going to grab this B over here, drag on it and type an image. And let's get an image texture color. Let's click on open and then you're going to find wherever that grunge is. So for me, I just downloaded one off the internet. I'm going to go open image. I'm going to change the um, projection here from flat to box. And then we're just going to click and drag here on the vector and just type in texture coordinate. And let's go to generate it. And then just come here and take this factor value and drag it up a little bit. And then we're going to go shift a search and just get another color ramp. And let's place it between the B over here, the B input and the grunge texture. And let's just drag this white value down and make it kind of like a coppery kind of color and bring the value down. Like so. And now let's just bring that roughness down even more. Now we have our copper material. Maybe bring the roughness up just a bit. Now let's actually grab the body, tab into edit mode, and let's just select a vertex on the glass part. Control L to select the whole thing. Let's press P and separate that selection. Tab back out and now click on this bit. And let's go here and get rid of that copper material and click new and let's just call it glass. And let's go click back on a copper part and let's just grab all of this setup inside of the copper. Right click and go copy and let's click on a glass bit again. Inside of here, let's just delete these nodes and then right click and go paste. And this time we're going to come here and drag down the metallic. We're going to come to the transmission and drag the weight all the way up to one. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, we've got some glass over here. All we need to do is actually um, just take this color ramp over here actually. Oh no, no, this one here. Take this one and just delete it. And let's just take the color output from our grunge and plug it into the roughness. And then actually go shift A search and just get a color ramp again. Whoops, a color ramp. There we go. And let's just tighten up these values. In your grunge, it might be a little bit different, but just so we get some places as transparent and others as a little bit more rough. And that just adds a bit of a grunge to it, which looks really cool. Thus, why we call it a grunge texture. Now in our front view, we're going to go shift A. Let's just add in a UV sphere. G, Z, move it up and then S to scale it down. Let's just go S, Z and scale it up a bit. And we're just going to put it right in here at the bottom. And with that sphere selected, we're going to go new and let's just call it light. Let's go to material properties and under the surface type here, let's just go and get an emission. And we're going to make the color a nice orangey color. And let's set the strength to 90. And now if we go into our camera view and we press Z and go rendered, we've got a nice bright light in there, which looks really cool. And you can mess around with your color a little bit. You could even make it blue if you want to go for kind of like a bit of a magical touch or green, uh, whatever you want. But I'm going to go over a nice kind of yellowy orange. And then let's select our camera. Let's go to our camera settings and enable depth of field. Click on a little eyedropper and then select our lantern. And then bring this f-stop down to we got a nice soft focus in the background and a nice bit of bokeh happening here which looks really cool and uh yeah that's about it so now you can grab maybe just grab this top light and let's just have it coming from the back a little bit let's just make that nice and orange as well maybe i'll make it blue just for a little bit of contrast yeah because like the outside ambient might be um, a bit blue because it's nighttime from the moonlight. And I just think that kind of really balances it out. So we'll make that one blue. Shift D to duplicate another one, have it coming further from the side here. And I think that just balances things out a little bit. Um, might not have this one quite as orange, but there we have it. So let's go ahead and save and let's go render and render image. And there we have it guys. You can spend as much time as you want now making this look really pretty, but that is just kind of the basics of how to do this sort of making a lantern in Blender. I'll be uploading my final result to Patreon. And uh, thank you guys for all the support, the people who are on there. And I really enjoy making these little uh, tutorials for the Blender community. So I'll see you guys next time. And thank you for watching.